Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich and I'm going to show you a possibly one of the coolest open source applications that you can get for a notepad replacement called Notepad++. Uh, to get to it, you can just go to google.com and then just search for notepad, then space, then plus plus, just like this. And then just click I'm feeling lucky and it will go right to the site, notepad++. Plus plus. Uh, this is a notepad replacement for Windows. and let me just show you how it works here. I'm just going to launch it. Now you'll notice right off the bat that there is a lot of stuff in this text editor compared to the regular Windows Notepad. And if you're asking why would you need a better text editor, well, there's a couple of reasons. Uh, first, if you plan to do any programming, you need something good. Uh, and when I say programming, this counts for web design. PHP, Perl, any one of those. Uh, and also when it comes to web design for CSS, for doing uh, feed programming, anything like that, you need something decent. And you also need something that's not going to cost anything. And of course, Notepad++ doesn't cost a dime. Now, what I'm going to do here is show you one of the advantages of using Notepad++. If uh, I go to I have a directory that has a WordPress in it and I'm going to open up one of the PHP files. We'll just say uh, the register file here. Now you'll notice that it's colored and it automatically formats it because the language selected and look at all these different languages it understands defaults to PHP and if you use any kind of programming language it will automatically colorize it according to the syntax. If that makes no sense to you, don't worry about it. But if you're going to do any programming, that should make total sense to you. And uh, this is absolutely fantastic. Even if you're going to do something like traditional HTML files, if we go to language and then just go to HTML, for example, and I do HTML head title, my web page title, and then end that, and then body, and then P. This is a quick web page. Embody HTML. If I could type it right, there we go. Now what you'll see here is you see these things on the side. You can expand these. That's the head content. There's the HTML content. There's the body content. It automatically formats this. It makes it so much easier to do things like this when you actually have something that does all this stuff. And of course you have the line numbers on the uh, left side. So that's actually really advantageous. And on the bottom here, you'll see where you are, line 10, column 8, Unix style text, ANSI equivalent, the insert is on, and uh, if I press the insert key, it turns to overwrite. If I press the insert key, and turns back to insert. And it says what it is, hypertext markup language file, HTML file. So that's just a really quick overview of how to do uh, Notepad++. And there is macros. You can run macros in this. There's a bunch of text effects you can do in this. If you happen to do ASCII art, this is a great editor for that. There are plugins. There's hex editing. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So again, uh, go to Google and search for Notepad++ and try this out. It's a light application. It's lightning fast. I've been using it for quite some time now. I think it's great. So check it out and happy text editing, everyone.